You are watching the streaming TV guys with Vader and Jimmy C. Oh, hey, it's Jimmy C with the Streaming TV Guys. Great news. Early in December, Ben Weinberger from Sling TV announced phase one of their new UI improvements. Ben, you came through and made our first How Do You Sling TV on Roku video quickly obsolete by introducing some amazing improvements. On a scale of Vader hugs, you were at one Vader hug with that first update, but this update pushes you to a full five Vader hug experience. Feel the love, my friend. Vader is very happy. All right, so up next, here's our tutorial on the new Sling TV interface. Hope you like what you see. It's a lot quicker than the first one, and I hope you enjoy, hope you learn a lot, and I hope it saves you a lot of time. Start off by selecting Sling TV from your Roku channel guide or simply press the Sling TV button on your Roku 4 remote. You will now be in the main guide channel ribbon area. A live channel will start playing. This is the last channel you viewed the last time you were in Sling TV. From here, you can select the right or left buttons to view the available channel options that you are subscribed to. If you wait here long enough, it will just start playing the live programming and clear the ribbon, just so you know. Now, if we go back to Food TV here and hit OK, that live channel's programming is going to start. From here, you have two options to get back to the main guide. First, you can simply select the down arrow button and your guide ribbon is going to appear. Or, if I select OK again, the live programming is going to play. I can click OK here, and a little three channel icon is going to appear, and that's going to allow me to select the guide, movies, watch, list, and search, but I'm going to hit guide, and that's going to get me back to the guide. I would just go ahead with the, the down arrow button there if you want to get back to the main ribbon. That's going to be the easiest. So if I hit OK again, and then when we hit OK once more, you're going to have a universal metadata search here. You're going to be able to um, get information on the programming here, which is going to show you what show it is, what time it started, and I can click Watch or I can click start over if that channel lets you do that. If I click on here and click on HGTV, the programming, live programming is gonna start. I hit okay. Now if I hit the back button, it's gonna go back to Food Network. If I hit the back button again, it's gonna go back to HGTV. So that's how you get back to your previously viewed channel. I think it clears itself out after a while right now, um, but you know, play around with it and see how it works out. Okay, so now we wanna get back to the main guide and you know exactly what to do, right? You're gonna hit the down arrow button. If that's anything you wanna remember from this tutorial, that's gonna be the thing. Down button is gonna get you back to this main channel ribbon. And so once you're back to the main guide, you can click the down arrow button if you are up in the channel search. You can click down here and you can click the right arrow button to advance to the upcoming schedule and left to come back. And you can even advance 24 hours ahead by clicking the fast forward button. And the same holds true for uh, going back 24 hours, you can simply hit the rewind button and go back uh, 24 hours, which is kind of cool. So you can see what um, what was on a day ago and uh, see if you can actually watch it in video on demand as well, which is kind of cool. You can select an upcoming show by clicking the OK button and then you can view the description of the show when it's playing and for how long.
And to go back to the live program you're watching at any time, you just need to hit the back button on the remote. And you may need to hit that a few times depending on if you're in a sub menu. But yes, ah, the back button as it was meant to be. Thanks, Link TV. We appreciate the, the Rev uh, 2.0 here. Once you're back to the main guide again, you can select the down button once more to view the available now or VOD selection. Here you will be able to view past episodes from some of your favorite shows. I've noticed a lot of current season VOD offerings are available for a few weeks and then they disappear and then some past season episodes are available but not all within a season. You truly have to experiment with your favorite. And to get back to the main guide from the VOD area, you just need to hit the back button. And then remember to hit the up arrow to get back to your live TV options. So there you go. That's your viewing for your VOD options. And just remember to hit the up arrow to get back to the live channel options. At the top of the main guide, you're gonna find a cool filter ribbon that lets viewers find channels by category. Once you select a category, you can then select the channels in that category and view live and upcoming show options. In this case, I chose sports ribbon filter and ESPN and ESPN2 came up. If I select HBO or premium, all my premium channels are gonna come up and I can select those as well. At the top of the main guide, you're also going to find a menu area. And we found this earlier in the live show viewing area. The menu will get you back to the guide as I showed you earlier, but it will also let you select various pay-per-view movies. If you hit OK, you will be able to view the movie's description and when it was released, length of the movie, and genre. You can also click on the director or actor and find out what shows uh, they've starred in and you can save some of those shows uh, to your watch list as well for later. Now the watch list is your saved movie titles that you've selected to watch in the future. Search will allow you to search for specific shows and movies. And the settings area is going to provide you with a detailed submenu of some nice features and functions. Here you can select specific parental controls the connection setting is going to let you set specific bandwidth usage limits and also show your current bandwidth quality being delivered now this is awesome if you're experiencing buffering or network issues just can throttle the bandwidth down and you may compromise some quality, but you won't miss your show either. So that's a really nice uh, updated feature in version 2.0 here. Now there's also a handy support area that actually has a toll free number, which is outstanding. And um, I think I'm gonna call that just to say hello and give hugs. But the device area will let you change your device name and allow you for auto zoom of standard definition content. And then the closed caption area will let you select a variety of closed captioning services that are available in your area. Thanks for tuning in to Streaming TV Guys today. Please check us out at streamingtvguys.com. Check us out on Twitter. And if you like what you see today, please subscribe and tune in next time for the Streaming TV Guys. Thanks, and have a happy streaming day.